unfortunately, a lot of people are making judgments without having any idea about what's been going on, about what I've been doing. That is a Gage County veterinarian's response to concern about her horses. She confirmed she's lost more than a dozen in the past month. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. The Gage County Sheriff's Office and Beatrice Police are investigating the deaths. The latest was over the weekend. Well, tonight the owner believes she knows why she's losing so many. KATV News Watch Evans Andrew Ozaki has this exclusive investigation. A dead horse covered with a tarp and some dirt. The latest at Blue Valley Veterinary Clinic in Beatrice. For weeks, numerous citizens have been calling the Gage County Sheriff's Office concerned about the condition of these horses and horses at the clinic in Pickerel. The horses had no food and water of any kind, um, no shelter. They were in a gravel parking lot. And what's really upsetting Ashley Bothern, who lives in Pickerel, the owner of both clinics and many of the horses, is a licensed veterinarian. You should never have a situation where you're concerned about the safety of a veterinarian's animals. That's like, you know, having a kid with missing teeth and their dad's a dentist. Last week, the Gage County Sheriff's Office posted online it's investigating the animal welfare concerns and have called in numerous veterinary specialists. KETV Investigates reached out to the veterinarian, Dr. Jennifer Glazeman, who agreed to talk to us. To get vilified by people who don't know what's going on makes it extra difficult. Glazeman believes she received toxic hay last month. About 12 to 48 hours after exposure to this new hay, uh, horses would be affected and so they would lose weight rapidly. Um, sometimes they would stop eating. She confirmed she lost more than a dozen horses in the past month, which caused odor complaints due to the carcasses being left out in the pasture. She says they've since been buried. Glazeman says she sent tissue samples for testing. She says so far they have not shown any toxins. That doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't any positives. It's just that on that particular panel, nothing was positive. Neighbors sent us these photos from Glazeman's horses from May, before she says the hay in question was delivered. Glazeman says she got some of the horses from rescue pens and may not have been in the best shape. It's possible that there could have been something circulating there that they were exposed to previously. Glazeman says some of her horses are on diets of special feed and medications. During the hot day, she puts out the hay at night and mornings. So there's actually been heat abatement strategies going on as well that, yeah, the normal person doesn't know when they drive by. As for the latest deaths. What happened there? Can we cut this? Well, this is kind of important because. Off record. Well, I, you know, I, I got, you know, hey, what, why is there another dead horse on the property? Glazeman says the horse was 25. She says she did her own necropsy Sunday morning to test the tissues, but did not feel it was necessary to call the sheriff. Why would the sheriff's office need to be called in this situation? There are no criminal charges in this case, which we will keep following. In Beatrice, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.